where the stove is going to go that we have, our camp chef stove. We're building a vent and shelf. There'll be a shelf up here for over the top of it. And this is where the original stove was, we believe, also. And we think that was the vent for it, which we're going to reuse. We are surrounded always by critters. I heard something over here and oh, and I'm freaking him out and uh, I couldn't find what it was and then I finally tracked the sound down and some little lizard fell in this bucket we had and I guess it's too slippery for him to be able to get out so I'm gonna release him or her and uh, I know you went out don't worry I'm gonna let you out I promise I don't want to eat you. There he goes. Bye bye. less than 10 minutes and then it nice. cleared off it's again nice. it's nice all right <laughs> <laughs> Watch no one like us in Caradan. <laughs> Dave's putting on his shirt because he's running out here topless. He doesn't wish to appear. He doesn't wish to appear on the interwebs. <laughs> topless. Okay, look at this. These are all of our artifacts. Most of these are dug from the earth, the very earth here at Caradan, and um, every time it rains, something else washes up, it seems. A lot of it's stuff like ancient beer tabs, but also we found these things. This one is actually from the shores of Lake Michigan. It's a great big, look how big that is. I don't have very big hands. Anyway, <clears throat> shores of Lake Michigan. So that was probably on some big draft horse. Some bungee netting. We bought this at Harbor Freight. We've been in here trying some things out in the camper, truck camper, because we're gonna be deploying those bungee things. Anyway, to hold in our stuff in some of these cabinets whenever we are in motion. Putting sheet metal around where the oven goes in our truck camper. Just for looks and for heat and things like that. Things of that nature. And uh, right now I'm cutting the metal that I'm putting on the walls. Alright. Don't cut your anything off yourself. So dangerous. Tools are dangerous. That doesn't mean you shouldn't use them, it's just you should be aware. 
life is dangerous. Check out this bicycling footwear attire. Some uh, six dollar flip flops, of which he is about to wear through the bottoms of, right? You're getting pretty close. But never fear, we have a backup pair ready to go. Hopefully I don't crash while I'm trying to film myself riding a bicycle. We've been going for bike rides every evening and we're on a rotation of our, uh, we've got several different routes based on the roads around our place. So tonight is the section loop. It's gonna be gravel roads momentarily. Out on our bike ride. We got a mommy deer and her fawn. And a, a doe and her fawn. She's not very scared of us, is she? Oh, she's a zombie. What are you guys doing? That's a baby baby. Cute. So cute. Beautiful. I'm sorry for eating deers. Sorry. One of the wildlife encounters on our bicycle ride. A turdsy. It's drink break. Right here by the turtle. The turtle's right over here. Dave was telling me to watch out. Turtles, I don't think, are known for uh, sudden attacks. I think you're safe, Tough. The turtle's not going to get you. No. How did Tough die? You'll never guess. <laughs> he was killed by a turtle. Sucker attacked all of a sudden. We never expected. Now we're coming into the danger zone. We come down this steep, bumpy, kind of scary hill. And they're at the bottom of it, deer often come running across and darting in front of us at the last minute. I was so close to one one time that it flung dirt in my face and I could see its eyelashes and practically count them. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Although if I crash into a deer, I'd probably get a million views.